G currently traded at three dollars and eighty five cents and three dollars and eighty six. Keep seeing that uh, moving up right now because we are looking at this in live time. Uh, the last time that we've looked at this stock is going to be a, a while ago on January 30th. It was actually at four dollars and eleven cents at that time. Uh, so uh, obviously going to be a little bit lower than that. So uh, I'm guessing whatever obviously happened here with the company. Again, this is why not all all the time the charts are going to be able to tell you the story here. Uh, perfect example, like like Joe says, you know, there's there's many times where the chart can do one thing and the story of the company tell you a whole different because a whole different story. You know, right here, if I was looking at just the chart, ignoring what's going on here today, you know, obviously coming down here, this lower support about two dollars and ten, you get you know a nice bounce up off of there, coming back down to that support. Either one of these, uh, even right here. You would have started seeing it come up right here, coming off that uh, support and getting through the resistance at the 10, 20, and 30. You come back down, you at least had a warning here. There wasn't that warning. Boom. This is why not always these, ch these charts are going to play. So uh, pulling this thing back down, this is going to be one of those ones. If that momentum keeps up and can keep going, you're going to have a resistance around the $4 and $4.61 uh, right around that area. You're going to have a little bit around four fifty as well. Remember that there's going to be a gap down here, uh, but, you know, this is, again, you guys are in the early stages of a momentum play. Uh, now, I'm sure there's obviously some good news here. You guys have that momentum coming out of the gate. It can probably keep going. I would be watching for a break of the $4 mark. That $4 mark can bring you up to uh, about 461 off of that, in my personal opinion. And uh, besides that, I mean, the volume, 17 million shares so far today and uh very very close to record volume at 18 million set back in january 3rd um that's basically all i'm seeing there for the highest volume and you will probably pass that within the next hour and a half if not sooner so that's gonna be my opinion on this one like i said there's not gonna be much for me to add as far as the chart goes because you can't see all these uh coming off the bottom so hopefully joe can add in a little bit here and let us know what has happened All right, they had a press release on the 18th. So today there's a press release. It's Interpace announces coverage of Thyromir with United Healthcare. So Interpace Diagnostics Group, a fully integrated commercial company that provides clinically useful molecular diagnostic tests and pathology services. Today announced that United Healthcare, the largest health plan in the United States, has agreed to cover Interpace's Thyromir test used in accessing intermediate Intermittent thyroid nodule fine needle assess uh, aspirate biopsies. The coverage is now in effect and is subject to member specific benefits plan design. The United Healthcare Policy decision is consistent with the National Comprehensive Cancer Network's thyroid carcinoma guidelines, which recommend that clinicians consider the use of molecular testing to identify patients with intermediate citropathology results with nodules are actually benign and can thus avoid surgery all right so that's pretty much it there uh let's, let's see what it is interpaces thyroid and thyroid mare assesses now covered for approximately 250 million patients nationwide so they're obviously expecting to have a lot more uh, you know are more business due to the fact that united healthcare is now covering these these tests that they have with the thyroid mare so that's the uh, press release today from them. As in, and, uh, let's see, what is it? So it's traditional. So, yeah. oh, that's pretty much that. They were on the uh, NASDAQ, and they're up 93% because of that. So it's definitely something to watch for. All right, so if you, have, uh, if you have an opinion on the company, feel free to go to the IDXG board and share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have using the site daily. That's right. And all the information that Joe was just talking about, it's over here on Investors Hangout. You see it over here on my screen, the recent news, filings, and financials. Uh, again, that's all going to be over there. With the chart, now you guys are pulling back a little bit now. Hit to $3.68. I said 363 uh, Can keep going from here. Play the momentum. Resistance at 398 461 Support at 294 245 and 210 uh, That's what you're going to be watching for with IDXG. If you follow this one, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And check out our live stream at investorshangout.com forward slash live.